You almost got you, bro. Oh, well, you almost. Good thing you didn't get me. Uh, <laughs> I was speeding on this side of the road. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I was kidding. But he was uh, pulling somebody over, so glad it's not me. <laughs> hey there, Jesse Dobek here, and welcome to my channel on YouTube. This is exciting. We're going to talk about the lifestyle of Jesse Dobek here, and to kick it off. I have the 2017 Corvette Stingray that I bought about a year ago. This is a 1LT. It has a Z51 performance package, so it's a little bit louder, a little bit better for driving around these streets of San Diego, having a blast. And I want to show you the car, so come check it out. Um, there's a bee in my car, man. Check this out, man. He's ruining my video. All right, let's see if we can get him out of there. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave. There he goes. So I wanted to show you the interior of this thing. It's nice. Okay, it's a 1LT package, so it doesn't have upgraded seats. It doesn't have like all this crazy stuff. But it's clean. The look of it, a lot of people see it. And it pops with the white and the black just makes it clean, professional, like I, I like, I just like how solid this car is, you know, when you're inside it, it feels good. For a $60,000 car, you cannot go wrong with this car, okay? And to have a lot of fun, you gotta have the manual transmission on a car like this. Okay, if you bump up to, in my opinion, if you bump up to like a ZR1 or some, you know, performance car, it's, it, it is almost better to, in my opinion, to have the automated, automatic transmission because you can really like just focus on driving the car. And with that much power, you're gonna need to just focus on actually driving the car, you know, shifting gears, going around corners and like doing stuff. Unless you're a professional driver and even professional drivers on the racetrack, they'll use an automated, autom automatic transmission. I keep thinking automated because I do automated stuff in my business, but automatic transmission, it's good if you're gonna bump it up. But if, but if you're in a base model Corvette, something like this, I would go with the manual. And I have so much fun in this car, so I want to actually, let's pop the, the, the hood. Uh, this engine is very, very powerful. A lot of people that see this car, like especially kids, they call it a race car. Mom, there's a race car. And I, I just feel like when I was a kid, using like micro machines and stuff like that um, but now this is the real version of it i'm super excited i can't wait to, to upgrade and keep going after let's take a look a walk around the car just check it out um, i got some stuff back here because we're filming and stuff but some camera gear but you got plenty of room back here it's just you know, I think the back looks good. Some people don't like the tail lights because they're not the old school ones, but, but I, I like them. I, you know, whenever somebody come, sees this car, like downtown San Diego, I'm driving, they literally think it's a Ferrari. I swear. And I, I was surprised by that. They're like, man, this is a nice car, you know? And, and the cool thing is you can take the roof off the car. So let me show you that, how easy it is to take the roof off the car. So there's three things, two latches in the front, one button in the back. Boom. You can just take the roof off. And then if you got your camera gear back here, you just pop it in like this. And you just pop it down and now the camera gear is secure. It's not running, it's not going around. So look at the car now. Now we got a sports car. Yeah, you, just pop, you just pop it down and it goes down nice and smooth. So now we got a sports car that in San Diego we can drive around, have fun with. Like when I'm driving downtown, when, when I got the top down at night, like at 12, 12 midnight in the summer, it's nice and warm. The wheels are sticking to the ground. They're melting into the pavement and I can just go. I have power, plenty of power for the streets in this car. You don't need any upgraded, 
um, you know, and I'm gonna probably take a lot of, of flack for this one, but you don't need any like supercharge, like all that stuff in San Diego. Okay, if I was in the Midwest, I would say definitely I want as much power as I can because there's not people around. Here there's people around. You can't go that fast, light to light. I mean, maybe, maybe I want a little bit more power, okay? Maybe a little bit more power. But people just come up to me when I'm downtown in San Diego and they'll walk up to the car and they'll be like, dude, this car is so sick. Oh man, they want to just jump in. I've had girls when I'm driving just get in the car. Just, just like, hey, can I go for a ride? And okay, I guess so. Nobody's watching. You know, I'm single, like single guy. So if you want a car that's $60,000 that you can have so much fun with, you got the performance, you're not breaking the bank. Literally, my payment on this car is like $750. My insurance on this car is about 100 and maybe 120 just to insure this car a month. I have another car, an Acura TL. So I drive the TL when I'm just going grocery shopping and doing stuff, but I could drive this car as a daily driver, okay? But I, I wanna keep it nice, so that way when I am driving it, it looks clean, it looks brand new. And I'm getting, I'm getting excited here, my nose is running. Well, it's not, you know, it's San Diego, so it's nice, but... Um, but anyway, you guys wanna go for a drive? Let's do it, man. I, I wanna drive this car, I wanna tell you what it's like driving it. Um, you can see for yourself what it's like driving it. Let's go have some fun. So, let's take this thing out on the road. Uh, there's some traffic, so... Um, first thing, you know, we're looking at the interior. They got a lot of cool stuff, like this this little area down here. Um, the screen that comes down. Can you see it? Or not? Yep. Um, so it's an LED screen. It's it's really cool because you know it's got the Apple CarPlay stuff, and you know if you, if you uh, get it hooked up to your phone. Well, now you can get navigation through your phone. You can get everything you need. You know, like you can call, you can do voice texting. You can do Pandora radio, like all that kind of stuff. And the sound system in this car is all right. You know, it's like it's a one LT, so it doesn't have the premium sound, but it's like Bose sound system. Um, it's got seven gears on the manual, so that's pretty. It's pretty exciting. And the cool thing about this car. If you take it on the freeway, like you're, like I drive up and go to Laker games and Clipper games, like up to LA, and I can pop this thing in. That's yeah, stay on the freeway, maybe and go straight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah. Good, good thinking, because this traffic is crazy. So we're gonna drive up by San Diego State real quick, and we gotta go get a couple memory cards because we forgot them back at the studio. So, um, so yeah, and you see like. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but this the screen went dark and my, my lights went on because we went underneath a bridge or an overpass. So it automatically adjusts. If it gets dark, you don't have to worry about where's the lights and turn the lights on, it'll do it for you. Um, oh yeah, what I was going to tell you is you can go into eco mode. Okay, when you go into eco mode, and uh, I don't know if you can see this, can I grab that from you real quick? Um, it says V8 on there, so I probably shouldn't be doing that while I'm driving here, grab this, but it says V8, it goes into V4 in eco mode when you're in like 4th gear, seventh, you know, 7th gear, depends on like the speed you're going right now. Right now we're getting 13 miles to the gallon, driving up this hill, you know, I'm driving a little bit faster than I, w I normally was, but right now, like, you know, when you get into seventh gear and you're on the freeway, you're getting like 40 miles to the gallon, like 30, 30 probably averaging like 35, but at certain times you look down and it says 99 miles per gallon for like a few seconds at a time. So you're really getting good gas mileage in this car. Now, the road noise on this car, it's a little bit, it's a lot of road noise. I don't have the magnetic ride suspension. So, you know, you got to deal with, with a little bit of bumps, but if you're on a good road and 
um, like in eco mode right now it's still pretty soft once you get into into track mode you, you better be on like a really smooth road or those it's just really really rough um, you're just gonna have you know but I do like being in track mode because the steering gets really tight and the suspension gets really tight and, and it, it creates a good feel like like you're in a race car so yeah this car is pretty badass I recommend anybody getting one of these if you never had one um, you know if you can get get a different car like a ZR1 or you can get a uh, Huracan or something or Huracan how you say it like my next car I get is probably gonna be a Huracan um, but I love this car for what it is I mean I, every time I drive it it never gets old um, sometimes I wish it, I had just a little bit more power when it's when it's a warm day and those the tires are really sticking I you know I, I do a couple of, of quick you know accelerations and I kind of wish sometimes that it had a little bit more power, but not really, especially if you're going around corners and stuff. The G-forces in this car are going to give you that rush. I mean, I'm, I'm the kind of guy I like roller coasters. I like going to Six Flags. I like bungee jumping, skydiving, that kind of stuff. So having a car like this is a good way to jump in it, have an escape of like having a sense of power when you're behind the wheel to a certain degree, you know? Um, so I love the car. So let me know what you guys think in the comments though. Um, and if you like this video, make sure you like the video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you get the notifications. And I look forward to serving you guys and showing you guys a lot of cool content, going around, hanging out with cool people, meeting awesome people, celebrities. Um, I'm a networker, so as you guys have seen in maybe some of my other videos, I like networking, I like being an entrepreneur, I like living a lifestyle where I can literally do what I want to do when I want to do it, and that's what I promote. And that's why I'm doing a car video, um, and I do a, I'm going to be doing a lot of different car videos because that's part of living the lifestyle, the dream lifestyle. A lot of the time, you're either in a vehicle or you're in your house. Okay, so when you're in those two places, you should have a really good place to live or to be around, you know, if you can afford it, okay? And I know some of you are like, well, I don't know how to do what you're doing or what you're talking about. My lifestyle sucks or like, trust me, I've been probably in worse situations than a lot of you guys financially, like all that stuff. So for me to have this car, I'm very grateful and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to show you what you need to do to get one of these cars. Okay, and that's why I bring this here. I want to inspire you to be able to, to be able to put yourself out there a little bit, but also serve other people and show other people what's going on and give them the opportunity to do a similar thing for themselves. Okay. So you don't gotta be perfect out there in, in your business. Like that's what I learned and you know, I'm doing that on purpose on this video, like not, not being perfect with the, you know, the sound, the lighting, all that stuff, because I'd rather put out a lot of content and show you guys a lot of cool things and be perfect all the time. So, um, so yeah, we'll just, now that we're on a little bit smoother street, nobody in front of me, we'll just open it up just a little so you guys can see. So, you know, just tone it down a little, you know, keeping it, Keeping it under the speed limit, but you can see I wasn't e that wasn't even half throttle, and it was it was already starting to like you know get you get the rush going and you know get the adrenaline pump in like the melatonin go melatonin <laughs> <laughs> not the melatonin I'm not gonna fall asleep on y'all no melatonin uh, but um, yeah the dopamine I meant. There's the adrenaline, the dopamine, you know, that's that's what happens in your brain when you get excited. Dopamine starts flowing and so not melatonin, that's when you're falling asleep. But it's still a natural occurrence in your brain, so it wasn't that far off, was it? Basic, basically the basically same thing. Basically the same thing, yeah. guys. I mean come on. It's the yin and the yang, brother. Yeah, you got you need yeah, exactly. So the opposite I don't know if they call it dyslexic or you say the opposites or like whatever. You know, if that's what I am, you guys can post a comment about that. But 
Um, I'm not. I'm. I'm trying to show you guys what it's like to own one of these vehicles. If you're in the market, I saw. You know, I'm inspired to do this video by a lot of people. Okay, Mo Vlog, the Strad Man, Vehicle Virgin, Street Speed 717. These are some of the channels. Of some of the people, uh, Daily Driven Exotics. Some of these guys, I'm watching their videos because I was in the market to buy a car. Okay, I was either gonna get a Porsche 911, I was thinking about getting an Audi R8, but I would've had to get an older one in the price range that I was going after, or a Corvette. Okay, because I wanted a sports car, I wanted that look, I wanted to turn heads, I wanted to, to uh, feel powerful on the road with some, with some power. I wanted a newer car, something that I felt like was mine and not a lot of people drove it before me. So I was looking at 911s, I was looking at Corvettes, and I was looking at R8. So I'm watching all these videos and I'm seeing these guys driving all these cars where they're driving this car and then they're upgrading to like Lamborghinis and Ferraris and these guys like in their 20s, you know? And I'm like, dude, I've been working on building my business for a long time. These guys are doing the lifestyle, like the perfect lifestyle, because now they can, you know, write off their cars. It's a business expense. They have an excuse to spend all that money, because honestly, that's like the worst investment ever. So just me, me buying this car is like not the perfect investment for what I'm trying to do with my business. So, you know, I'm inspired to create this channel because then I can create content. Now I got an excuse to uh, to invest in cars, <laughs> in a way. So, um, you know, I want to show you guys what I do because uh, for me just to be able to get this car, I've had to do a lot of work. I've had to help a lot of people out. I've had to sell a lot of products online. I've had to do a lot of stuff. I'll tell you guys more about that later, but I just want to show you what it's like to be in, in one of these cars on the day to day, um, you know, the pros and cons of it. And, you know, there's a couple things that I don't necessarily love about the car, you know, the wheels spin a lot, um, looks a little plasticky in here, you know, for my taste. Like, uh, when, you're, when you're making a U-turn, I'll try to, I'll make a U-turn up here just cause, and then the wheels like hit the wheel well. So, you know, the pros and cons too, like this guy's trying to race me, like everybody's trying to race the car. Even I've had like Jettas, I've had like old mom cars, Nissan Altimas, like try to race me, like literally, like roll down their window, all right, let's, you know, like, nah, dude, like you, you can't hang, <laughs> like, um, so anyway. Yeah, when you turn the wheel on this car like too much, and I'll make a U-turn up here, I'll just go up here and show you guys. Yeah, and then the brakes on this car stops on a dime, okay? I mean, you can gun it and just stop real quick, especially when you can downshift, you can slow the car down. And what's cool about this car, it's in neutral now. The engine is off. There's no, the engine's not like making noise. You put it in first gear, now you can feel it shaking, now it's going. You put it here, it's like the engine turns off. So you, to have the power to be able to turn the engine off whenever you want, I mean, it's still going, but it's not like in gear or whatever. Um, and you guys can blast me for that one if you want, but it, it really quiets the car. You put it in neutral, you're driving, and um, you can slow the car down by downshifting. So, all right, so I better wake up here and make a U-turn. So, so anyway, when I, oh, you couldn't really hear it, but a lot of times when I, when I turn, the tire like hits the wheel well, and it's like, it goes like clunk clunk and it's like weird you know when I was driving the Porsches oh I could I could I could drift out of a u-turn no problem four-wheel drive like stick into the ground um, it was a different experience but this car has a lot more power in a straight line and it still has really good handling and and, and all that but you know there's pros and cons to every car so there's only a couple things the, you know, the blind spots are really terrible, like that small little window, like you don't see, a lot of times I look, I don't see a car, but there's actually a car there, you know, that's scary. So like, a lot of times I hesitate before I change lanes because of the blind spots. 
Um, I wish I would have got the mag ri magnetic ride version so it was a little bit with all these bumpy streets it would be a lot easier to drive you know in the bumps more smooth so anyway I hope this gives you a little perspective on what it's like to have a Corvette um, go out there and grab one try it out for yourself I've had this car for a year wouldn't have done anything differently about the car I love the color the color pops at night white you can see um, I like the interior some people like red or they want it more like you know more pop they want the interior to pop out like more exciting interior maybe I'm just boring I don't know I like the clean look of a of black or just a regular color maybe you know if I had a Lamborghini or something uh, a very loud vehicle and I, I can't make this turn in this car these people are see that that's that's a con you can't turn very tight so now I got to go up here and turn around in this parking lot <laughs> so there's another thing so So anyway, like if you like this video, click the like button, ring the bell, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we got a lot of videos we're going to be putting out, hopefully like one video every other day to start. Let's see if we can get to one video a day. Let's just pump the content out there. I want to show you guys what my life is like, uh, being a business owner, entrepreneur, creating a channel, driving cool cars, traveling around going to Laker games, just living the life, you know, the lifestyle of Jesse Dobeck. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video, and I'm out. All right, peace.